A complimentary attack to this straight arm bar is to finally utilize that collar grip I've been yapping about this whole time. So, you can use this independently because you prefer it, or you can use it as a safety net if you lose the arm lock itself. You got your cross collar grip, sleeve grip, hip shoulder, foot on the hip, continue till I get that knee across his torso on that diagonal. From this position, again, same as before, he's not driving in, giving me the sweep, but he is giving me his arm. I kick through to here, throw my leg over, but this time I left my collar grip in. If I have a heavy bite and a row, there's a nice tap there. We can use the heavy bite with the casting of the line at our wrist and rowing our arm back or our elbow back, using those two just for a strangle on its own. Or we can keep hugging the wrist as we start casting the line and then going to what we feel like will be the finish. Is the strangle in my a little shallow, a little low, because during the struggle my grip slid down a little bit, but the arm is pretty extended. Well, then both hands will migrate to his wrist trying to finish the arm up. Sometimes though, they pull that arm out the rack. When I'm here, I kick through to here, and he knows I'm attacking this arm, so he extracts it. Fix your choke if you need by extending at the knee, lifting, and then chopping down. But then it's just a heavy leg curl, bringing your foot to the floor as you cast in row. So call it the hell choke because, well, I think you'll know why when you practice it with your buddy. But there's some variance. You can use it as a ploy to help you uh, dis disguise your arm lock. You can use it as a safety net when they take the arm out and attack on its own. But in any case, because you were insistent on having a high collar grip, you were immediately ready to strangle them when the scissor sweep didn't present itself.